hello everyone welcome to solve this math olympiad algebra problem and here we have 5 over m into 5 over m equals to m over 5 and we solve this problem for the values of m so here the very first step we are going to do is here first we multiply this 5 by 5 and it will be written as 5 times of 5 becomes 25 m times of m becomes m square equals to this is m over 5 and now in the next step here we need to cross multiply the terms in this way so that uh, here when we multiply this 5 by 25 and we multiply this m square by m and after this multiplication uh, we will just get here 25 times of 5 becomes 125 and m square times of m becomes m cubed and now in the next step we move this 125 to the right hand side and it will be written as m cubed minus 125 equals to 0. So here you see that this equation will become quadratic uh, sorry this is cubic equation in m variable uh, so that here uh, we just find the these three solutions of the of this equation so here first we rewrite this equation as m cubed minus we write this 125 as 5 cubed and this whole equation equals to 0 and now you see here we have uh, 5 cubed minus m cubed and here we use a nice cubic formula and we know about this formula if we have a cubed minus b cubed it is equals to a minus b times of uh, a square plus a b plus b square here we need uh, this cubic formula in order to solve the above cubic equation so uh, in this equation we have the value of a is m and the value of b is 5 so we uh, uh, apply this cubic formula to this term and it is written as uh, m minus 5 into uh, m square plus a b so here our a is m and b is 5 plus b square and b is 5 square and this whole equation equals to 0 and now in the next step here we need some simplifications and we write it as m minus 5 into m square plus 5m plus this 5 square equals to 25 and this whole equation equals to 0 so now we convert uh, this equation into the two cases so that our first case is we take m minus 5 equals to 0 and the second case is we take m square plus 5m plus 25 equals to 0. So uh, in this case we easily get the value of m is equals to 5. So this is the first real solution of the given equation and now in order to find the other two roots we need to uh, solve this quadratic equation so because this is quadratic equation and now we use the quadratic formula in order to solve this equation so first we write the coefficients of this equation and its coefficients are a equals to 1 b equals to 5 and c equals to 25 so these are the coefficients of the above equation and now we use the quadratic formula in order to solve this equation and we know about the quadratic formula it is stated as minus b plus minus square root of b square minus 4 times of ac divided by 2 times of a so this is the over quadratic formula and now we substitute the values of a b and c in this formula and we easily get the values of m here okay so uh, we have m equals to this is minus b and the value of b is 5 plus minus square root of b square so our b is 5 square 
minus 4 times of AC, A is 1 and C is 25 and this whole divided by 2 times of A and our A is equals to 1. So here we need some simplification and we write it as M equals to this is minus 5 plus minus square root of 5 square equals to 25 and 4 times of 25 equals 200 and it is divided by 2 times of 1 equals to 2. And now in the next step uh, here we need more simplifications and we write it as minus 5 and plus minus square root of 25 minus 100 equals to minus 75 and this is divided by 2. So here we break this uh, square root uh, term only so we write this minus 75 square root as minus 5 plus minus we write this 75 as 25 times of 3 okay we know that 25 times of 3 becomes 75 and we just separate the square root of minus 1 and this whole is divided by 2. And now in the next step we have m equals to minus 5 plus minus. Here we know that a square root of 25 and 3. So we just first separate the square root on both of these terms. And it will be written as a square root of 25 into square root of 3. And we know that square root of minus 1 equals to iota and this whole is divided by 2. So uh, further uh, in the next step we have this is minus 5 plus minus. We know that a square root of 25 is equals to 5 into square root of 3 into iota. And here we just break this fraction and we write these two uh, uh, separately on both of these terms and we write in this way minus 5 over 2 plus minus 5 into square root of 3 over 2 into iota. So these are the other two complex roots of the given equation and because our given equation is cubic so uh, finally we have the three roots of the uh, given cubic equation are uh, written in this way m1 is equals to here we write the positive value it is minus 5 over 2 plus 5 into square root of 3 into iota so this is the our first complex root and m2 uh, is equals to uh, here we write the negative value it is minus 5 over 2 minus 5 into square root of 3 iota over 2 so this is the uh, these are the two complex solutions and our m3 equals to 5 which we find already 1 okay so these are the three solutions of the given equation and this is the final answer and thank you so much for watching this video please subscribe to my channel for more exciting videos